Hello and welcome back to Sherwood Park Toyota. Today we're looking at a Toyota Tundra SR5 TRD Sport in the color gray. Let's take a look. Starting up front here underneath the hood, we have the twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 engine, automatic transmission, gets up to 389 horsepower, 479 pound foot of torque, towing capacity up to 8,289 pounds and payload up to 1,819. Up front here, you've got your LED headlights, customer daytime running lights, and fog lights down below. Across the front bumper, you've got these little round nodules. These guys are your front parking sensors. Underneath on the grill here, you've got your Tundra logo. And then you've got the TRD on the top corner of the grill as well. Along to the side here, we have the 20-inch black alloy TRD wheels. Side mirrors have integrated turn signals as well as blind spot monitoring. And on both of your front doors, you'll find this Tundra logo. And on both of your front doors, you'll also find this little dimple on your handle. We'll talk about that guy more on the driver's side. Moving back, all your rear windows come with factory tinting. You also have your SR5 trim level badge on the doors there. In the back, we currently have the bed lamp turned on. This can be turned off or work automatically with opening and closing of doors. Your rear windshield is also power adjustable. Both those controls we'll see when we get up front. And on either side of the bed, you have your TRD 4x4 Sport badge stickers. Just like the front, across the back, you've got your backup parking sensors the whole way across the bumper. You've got your hitch receiver down below and then your spare mounted underneath. 4x4 badge on the left corner and then Tundra logo the whole way across. And then on your rear handle is your backup camera. To open up your trunk space, just reach into your handle here and press the button and it can lower itself down from there. Tundra logo across the back. You can take a look along the inside of the bed. You've got your tie down hooks as well as your bed rails here. And then to close it up, just reach down and bring your tailgate back upwards and pop it back into starting position. Next, let's go take a look along the inside. Inside your interior upholstery is the black cloth with black stitching. You also have this bubble type texturing on your seats. If you look upward next to your middle headrest and passenger headrest, you'll find this little strap. Reach up and give this guy a release. Then you can access all of the storage space you have in behind your seats, including your toolkit that you have behind your rear passenger. Very similarly, down below, you've got another little strap here. Reach, give this guy a release just to unlock it. And then you can lift your seat upwards and access the lower storage. You've got a couple accessories down here, including the Tundra carpeted mats. All new units come with both carpeted and rubber mats. If you have it pushed all the way upwards, it will then lock itself into this position. Trust me, it is not coming out of this unless you go back down and release that same little unlock strap, which will allow it to fall back into place. Looking forward on the back of your front passenger seat, you have your pouch storage. Back of your console, you have your cup holders and cubby space, and then you have your chargers down below. Then inside your door is where you've got your storage compartments as well as your power window control. Now, back again to that little dimple, this guy indicates keyless entry. So if you have the key fob on your person, you can tap your hand in here to lock and unlock the unit. Inside the door, we've got your power windows for front and back, window lock, power lock system, side mirror controls. Front driver's seat is electronically adjustable, back front, up, down, and lumbar support. You've got your hood release latch on the bottom left-hand corner of your dash. On top of that, controls for your headlamp leveling, heated steering wheel. We have the TRD steering wheel with the little logo and red stripe which matches perfectly with the same TRD gear shift. Then you've got your rear parking sensors, odometer trip, dash brightness, automatic start stop, automatic headlamps, and the rear, uh, rear cargo light there that we saw in the back. Hop up here and we'll take a closer look at the steering wheel. Black leather, black stitching. Then left hand side, controls here for the dash display, hands free communication, volume control, Right hand side, radio controls on the bottom, adaptive cruise control up top, which includes sonar and lane departure. On top of your dash, you have this little built in storage cubby with a 12 volt adapter on the left hand side. And then underneath is your infotainment display screen. This is where you go to access much of the information about your daily driving experience. Currently, you're looking at your optional navigation. You can choose to connect this through Toyota Connected Services. Under that, audio listening. AM, FM, and satellite radio. Full Bluetooth connectivity includes Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And you've got optional USB adapters all throughout. Then, your phone connectivity for your personal device, trip information, and general settings. This is everything from personal profile, Bluetooth, audio, phone, device, display, sound, media, info security, apps, etc. Bottom left corner is your volume. 
Then you've got your climate control center, dual climate control up front here. Currently it is on sync, which means that both sides will work together in unison. But if you turn off that sync, it will allow each side to work independently. Defrost for your front end rear windshield as well as side mirrors here. And then we also have three variant levels for heated seat controls for driver and front passenger. You also have your little USB port there. On the other side, you have your red TRD push start ignition and trailer brake controls, traction control and four ways in the middle here. Then you've got your gear shift. In front of that is your parking brakes. Behind that, two wheel, four high and four low controls, driving versus towing modes, storage spaces. In the back, you've got your console, two different layers of trays. The bottom one is able to move back, giving you easy access to your storage space. You also have some additional chargers. And then this guy opens up as normal. You've got some interior lighting that comes from the back here as well. On the right hand side, storage cubby goes the whole way across your dash. Another Tundra logo on the right. Walkable storage glove box down below. Up overhead, you've got your sunglasses compartment, overhead lighting control, SOS, and then also we've got the control for that power adjustable rear windshield. We can take a look at that in action. Push the button in to have it roll down. Pull the button up to have it roll back upwards. You can also stop it at any point along the way to suit your personal preference. Great little feature for getting a little extra airflow inside your front cab space. Thanks again, folks, for joining us on this full video tour for this Toyota Tundra SR5 TRD Sport in the color gray. It is located here at Sherwood Park Toyota at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta. You can also reach us at 780-306-7703. And remember, life is full of choices. Let us be yours.